What up, cucks? It's your boy, the hater up in this piece. And I wanted to do a video about what happened on SmackDown. Not about SmackDown itself, because ain't nobody got time to review this garbage. Basically, there were three women's matches, all of which were very predictable in terms of who was going to win and who was going to lose. Once again, the men's matches were no different, right? Everything was predictable. The new era of Triple H is the era of predictable garbage. Anything that is not predictable is inconsequential. For example, we had Angelo Dawkins versus Tama Tonga in a meaningless King of the Ring match. Neither of them is going to win, so who gives a shit who wins this match, right? Obviously, chances are it's going to be Tama Tonga, given that Tama Tonga is a new wrestler in an actual faction that gets TV time, and uh, Angelo Dawkins has had one of the worst years in WWE history. So, that goes without saying. Then we had AJ Styles and Roman Reigns. I mean, sorry, what am I saying there? AJ Styles and Randy Orton. Orton wins. If AJ had won, it could have gone either way. Neither of these guys is going to be king of the ring. We're not going to get King Randy Orton. That's just, that's just silly. Randy Orton is too high to be in the king of the ring. But the thing that I want to talk about the most, of course, is the fact that um, Cody Rhodes didn't wrestle. Right? I mean, once again, we find ourselves in the same situation as Roman Reigns, right? Cody Rhodes just doesn't wrestle, you know? It's now um, a full month and like a week since WrestleMania, and Cody has had two matches. It's, it's really that simple, Cucks. He's had two matches since WrestleMania. Uh, it's, at this rate, he's going to have like three matches in three months, right? Um, and this match that he's going to have is completely meaningless. It's him versus Logan Paul. Now, because Cody Rhodes is the champion... And even though he never will be the face of WWE, they're trying to position him as such. Because of this, the promo that he cut on Logan Paul, the underpinnings of it are basically that Cody Rhodes is better than, than Logan Paul, right? The entire point and what, um, what he said to good old Logan is basically that like, what, what was it? He called him a dumbass or something, right? The idea being that, you know... Um, that Logan Paul is like a joke of a, of a human being. He's a joke of a wrestler, right? And, I mean, I get that they have to do something here. You know what I mean? They got to do something to, like, kind of make that point forward, right? Because there has to be some sort of animosity between them. But Cody Rhodes calling him a jerk-off or a dumbass or whatever it was is silly because let's be real. Like, let's, let's, just, let's just be real, right? Like, people can hate all they want, right? People can hate all they want, and they do. They hate Logan Paul um, for reasons that have nothing to do with wrestling. Logan Paul is like 29, right? And he's already a better wrestler than Cody Rhodes is, and Cody Rhodes is like 39, right? In my opinion, Logan Paul is the superior wrestler. Like, I don't care what, people, what anyone says. Like, Cody Rhodes can't do the moves that Logan Paul can do. C C Cody Rhodes isn't athletic enough to do, like, the, the Logan Paul moves. The most athletic thing Cody Rhodes does is the Cody Cutter, and then that movie bought just like 85% of the time. Anyways, it's either here nor there, right? A few weeks ago, they we had like the, what was that, last week or whatever? It was during the draft. But we had Logan Paul basically verbally bury Jey Uso, right? And the entire burial was like, oh, hold on a second, you know what I mean? He basically told Jey Uso, like, no, you're not gonna like out-troll me, right? Like, you're not gonna like do that, right? And it, it, it was a very, very erudite point if you think about it, because the entire point is like it's like you know like Logan Paul invented this shit, right? He invented like trolling insofar as WWE goes, right? He's the guy who like made a, a career out of being an annoying ass on YouTube, right? Like you're not gonna outdo that to him, right? You, you're you're not gonna out meme him, if you will, right? And you know that's just like part of the storyline. But when he started talking, you see like the natural charisma that Logan Paul has. Now people don't want to give credit to Logan and Jake Paul. For being extremely charismatic, right? But the fact is they are extremely charismatic, right? Nobody gets millions of viewers um, without being extremely charismatic. Like, let's be real. If Cody Rhodes, you know, like, uh, tried to do what Logan Paul did, he would fail miserably. Like, if it weren't for the fact that Cody Rhodes' dad was a mid-card jobber who people pretend is a legend, right? Like, he'd be a complete nobody right now. He would never make it in entertainment in any capacity. So let's be real, right? So th this idea that Cody Rhodes is like, you're a dumbass, it's like, just watch your mouth in the sense that like Logan Paul has actually earned everything right the, the prime logo is in the middle of the ring he had to earn it right he built that company he had to earn the respect of people like Triple H 
and, and you know, the reasonable wrestling fans. He had to earn it. Cody Rhodes doesn't have to earn anything. Cody Rhodes' entire character is he's entitled. Like, this started out with him. Like, just think about it for a second. Cody Rhodes, when he started out, his finishing move was the Silver Spoon DDT, right? And the entire point, the reason why it's called the Silver Spoon DDT is because a silver spoon is something that you put in the mouth of very, very rich people's babies, right? And you give them a silver spoon, which is like they can sell later in life if like shit hits the fan. The idea is they, they're, they are born with a literal, like one of my buddies from law school, he had a literal silver spoon that he got as a gift from his grandpa when he was born, right? Like it's worth like a lot of money, right? I mean, not, not a crazy amount of money because it's silver, but it's sterling silver. It's like a giant spoon, right? And like the idea is you're starting off with money. Like that's the whole point. So the first iteration of Cody Rhodes is that he is basically an entitled brat, right? Then he joins Legacy, where the entire gimmick of the group is that they are entitled brats. Like, that's the whole point of Legacy. They tried to, like, shift it a little bit and make it seem as if it wasn't that. But the reality is, like, the whole point is, you know, Randy Orton, DiBiase, and Cucky, all of them are, like, the children of wrestlers, right? Which means, like, you know, they, they have a legacy in the business, and the idea is they feel like they deserve more because their fathers were wrestlers, right? And this was also encapsulated by that great promo where, like, DiBiase and uh, Cody Rhodes go backstage to Jericho, right? And they're like, <laughs> look, like, to, to DiBiase. Like, these two jobbers are talking to Jericho like they're equals. And DiBiase's like, hey, look, Cody, it's, it's Jericho, you know, unlike... And it's just so stupid because DiBiase's like, unlike our fathers, Jericho's father was a bench warmer in the NHL. Okay, first of all, Jericho's father was in the NHL, which means he could beat the shit out of both of their fathers, probably, right? Number one. Two... Jericho really quickly puts him in their place and he just looks at them and he's like, you must not realize who you're talking to. He's like, I've won more championships than you and both of your fathers combined, right? Like, let's get, let's not get it twisted. Like, Ted DiBiase and, and Dusty Rhodes, right? They're nothing compared to someone like Jericho, right? And in quite, in quite frankly, in my opinion, they're nothing compared to Logan Paul because Logan Paul actually has had success, right? Logan Paul, if he decides to stick around in wrestling, he's going to be a champion definitely within the next 10 years. I mean, he's going to be a champion probably the next few years. But the idea is it took it took Cody like 30 years or 39 years, I should say, to become a champion despite all the advantages that he's had, right? And this entire, you know, finish the story thing, the entire point is that that also is a form of entitlement, right? So Cody Rhodes coming out and pretty much trying to belittle uh, Logan Paul and saying people think you're a dumbass. It's like, no, bro. Like anybody that takes wrestling seriously knows like you know that Co cody rhodes doesn't work harder than logan paul right logan paul doesn't have to do any of this shit logan paul could come like once every three years and have a match he could he could easily ask for a brock lesnar schedule right he could easily ask for a roman Reigns schedule but he's in there every pay-per-view at least right i understand i understand logan paul is not gonna go wrestle on, on smackdown that's for umberto carrillo to do i get that but that's because logan paul is an actual celebrity right he has other things to do in his life Right? He has other means of earning, and he has other careers. Right? Cody Rhodes doesn't. Cody Rhodes' job is to be a wrestler, but he doesn't even do that. Right? So it, 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 to me, it just, felt, it, it just felt really like tone deaf. Right? This idea that Cody Rhodes, like for some reason, why is Logan Paul a dumbass? Right? What has he done that's so dumb? He's come out there, he's just embarrassed everybody he's wrestled. Right? He's pretty much embarrassed the sport, quote unquote. I know it's not a real sport. A professional wrestling. He, he just shows that all you need... Is to be athletic and you can come in there and like learn it in like a couple in a, in a few weeks. You know what I'm saying? In a few weeks, this guy can come in and learn the craft. Oh, Dean Malenko, uh, uh, Bret Hart studied in the dungeon. Logan Paul's more athletic than all of them. What do you think of that? <laughs> what do you think of that? He's more athletic than the entire Hart family combined. You know what I mean? It takes absolutely nothing to make it in this in this fake sport other than to be athletic, right? And Logan Paul has done that. So as far as I'm concerned, this whole idea that for some reason like Logan Paul doesn't belong, but Cody Rhodes, who left the company, tried to start a rival promotion to take this company out of business. This guy belongs, but Logan Paul doesn't. The fans don't like Logan Paul. And in this, in, in this whole circle jerk, there's also this idea that keeps coming up, right? The idea that Cody Rhodes, you know, this is not a good feud for Cody Rhodes, right? Well, it, it, it shouldn't matter, right? Cody Rhodes should be able to make this into a good feud, but you can't. You can't make this into, into a good feud if you're not wrestling, right? If Cody Rhodes and... Uh, Logan Paul were wrestling every week, right? You could interfere in each other's matches, right? Cody Rhodes could wrestle, I don't know, Andrade. I don't know who the fuck's on SmackDown now, right? He could wrestle Andrade, let's just say for the sake of argument. Logan Paul comes, 
punches Cody Rhodes in the face with the breast knucks. Andrade wins. Big win for Andrade, right? In a non-title match, of course, right? And Cody gets screwed. You could do that, right? But they're not going to do that. They're not, they don't have the, the wherewithal, right? Because they don't need to do any of this, right? The new format of wrestling is no longer with storylines and things that make sense. The new format is just have the champion come out there and have this meaningless feud, right? And then just put a lot of advertisements during the match. Oh, I'll go Fresca match. You know what I'm saying? So there you have it. I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And in this case, the ratings will continue to go down. I'm actually, the next thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to look to see what the ratings of Raw and SmackDown have been recently, motherfucks. Maybe make a video on that, a pimp is bitch.